Hi, I'm Malika Greb, CEO, Engineer of Elite Automation. Today, I'm gonna to take you through a few different reasons why UDT may not be able to be deleted. So if you don't know what a UDT is, it's a user-defined data type, and it's something utilized to basically be able to create more of a structure to your program. And whenever you have a tag name, have more of a structure to that tag name versus just having a Boolean or a dent or some of the other predefined data types that are out there. So let's go ahead and jump into this thing and we're gonna jump into the screen and show you what you may be looking at. So here is our data types. Here's our user defined. And we have three UDTs inside of here. So these are the three different UDTs. Uh, we're gonna right click on one of them and you'll see that our delete function is not available. Uh, we'll go to this next one. Notice you do have a delete function for this one. So if you wanted to, you can go ahead and delete this one. And then notice you have another one that uh, is also missing its delete function. So I'm going to show you a couple of reasons why they cannot be deleted. So for this particular one right here, this recipe HMI, it cannot be deleted because it is in our controller tags. So if we click into our controller tags where we're actually already at, you'll see that we have a tag name called recipe, but more importantly, uh, the data type right here is recipe HMI. Being that we're using this UDT as a data type and tying it to a tag name, it is now locked into that tag name. So the only way to be able to delete that UDT is to come in here and actually delete the tag that you have created with that. Now you should be able to come over here, right click on your recipe HMI, and you have the ability to delete it. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and take y'all into the next potential reason of why you can't delete a UDT. So I go to click into this UDT, it doesn't have the delete function. Um, and for, the, for this particular one, the issue is we are using this UDT inside of another UDT. And so you'll see this quite commonly where you want to have a UDT for like say for instance cylinders, but then you want to put cylinders inside of your recipe. So here we're using a UDT inside of a UDT. So here is our colors data type and here we are in our recipe HMI. So with that being said, you either got to do one or two things. You either got to delete the whole entire uh, recipe HMI UDT or you got to come over here and you got to delete the colors out of this UDT. So these are referred to as members here. They're members of the UDT. And so if you just delete the colors member, so after you delete colors, you want to ensure that you go down here and you hit apply. If you do not hit apply, then it will not save the changes. It will not accept the changes and you won't be able to delete it. So as you can see, now we can come over here. Now you have the ability to delete the colors UDT. So hopefully this helps you out on a couple of instances of when you can't delete a UDT, if you need to delete one or change one. I know this, there's not a lot of information on like how to manipulate a D UDT, at least no designated videos just for changing UDTs. There's videos on how to create UDTs and how to do stuff with UDTs, but I, I haven't seen anything on just specifically being able to delete a UDT. So if somebody's having this problem, maybe this will be more searchable and it'll help you through your, your problem that you're having right now. And that's what we anticipate doing here on this YouTube channel. We anticipate making things faster for people, being able to search things by video that may be on a forum so you don't have to read them. Because if you're like me, you don't like to read very much and you either struggle through it as much as you can or you try to find a video to show you how to do it. And hopefully we can be that place. So if you have anything that you would like help with, put it down in the comments below. Maybe we can get a video out. And uh, even if it can't help you with your particular issue that you're having right now at the moment, uh, maybe it'll help the next guy who's having that same issue that you're currently having. So we'll catch you all in the next one, and I appreciate you all for watching.